somebody out there hit the alarm button the entire year of fortnite has leaked online we're gonna dive into all of it while playing a game of fortnite make sure to stick through to the end of this video because we have some insane leaks to go through and honestly i can't even believe this happened now part of this has already happened which kind of validates that it's real now this leak was the roadmap leak that went live on 4chan which is some weird website where honestly a lot of fortnite leaks end up coming through and the big leak was an image of this now this is obviously at some type of presentation between fortnite shareholders I, I don't know what actually this went through but it's essentially fortnite showing this other third party everything that it's got coming this year highly confidential information and obviously it's made it out onto the public domain it's all over twitter so we're gonna kind of go through what exactly is in this while wiping bots out off spawn because that's just what we do. We've got FNCS in an hour or two. So this is kind of my warm up game. So, the first thing to kind of really look in here is that leaks everything from LEGO Fortnite to Battle Royale to the Fortnite Festival and then Rocket Racing. Although, let's be honest, Rocket Racing, they're probably not going to talk much about because you can't even really tell what's there or what's coming. And I don't think people really care too much about what's happening in Rocket Racing. I don't know. The creative mode stuff was cool, but we'll have to see for that game mode really as it goes forward. So the first part that we'll kind of talk about is more so about the Fortnite Festival. And that's the icon skins to come. Now, that's the only real part that I think is worth discussing as part of Festival. I don't actually play the game myself, but I will buy the icon skins as they come through. The weekend one was really cool. And it looks like next up, we're going to have Billie Eilish. It's funny, this came out and then the next day after, Fortnite put out the color theme for the next Fortnite festival, which if you guys didn't see it, it's green. And that kind of really is a bit of a spoiler for it all because that is Billie Eilish's color. And on this roadmap kind of thing, it shows Billie Eilish being the next icon skin to come out for it. Then after Billie Eilish, it says that we're gonna get Metallica. And then I don't know the third person, so I, I, I can't really say who it is. I, I'll be honest, it must be an international, you know, musician. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know who that is. And then to end off the year, we have Snoop Dogg, which I find kind of interesting because obviously, no bullet drop? I thought this was gonna bullet drop. Oh, well, we're not getting that. Which, of course, is pretty interesting because I think there was a whole lawsuit over this emote right here, which is obviously like his emote, but that was OG Fortnite days. That was definitely a headshot, but we'll let it cook. Yeah, so that, that's like the kind of lineup for all the musician icons we're gonna get for the end of the year. Obviously, there's more content that's gonna come out in game. And you'll notice that the first six months are more built out than the last six months. And that's just, I think, what validates it even more so because like as things kind of develop, things change, things, you know, deals get canceled, deals get approved. You know, this is what you can expect at least in the next three, four months. And the overall structure of it, it could change from here. Even like it coming live and public might even change the full direction of what actually happens. All right, so in regards to Battle Royale, we obviously have the key art right there on screen uh, for this season. Now, this was probably made, you know, after the key art was made because I think that comes in pretty hot. I'm not sure. But then we've got next season, which it looks like a development key art. Like that doesn't look like the final one, but it did come with kind of a text post saying that the next season is going to be apocalypse themed. So that's kind of the direction they've got going there. For collabs for the seasons, because it does have Avatar, it does have Star Wars. Star Wars is already kind of semi-announced for this season already. It's got Fall Guys, which I find very interesting. Now, it does say Battle Royale, not creative mode, so I'm interested to see what's going on there. And then we've got Metallica again, so obviously with the Icon skin coming out in Fortnite Festival, looks like it might have something to do in Battle Royale as well. And then it has Pirates of the Caribbean, which then did come with a bunch of leakers saying it's going to come out in July. I believe was the date they were throwing around. So Pirates of the Caribbean, that is a pretty sick collab. Are we going to get Davy Jones? Are we going to get, you know, Orlando Bloom, like Captain Jack Sparrow. What else does that involve? Are we getting Mythics? It sounds like we are, like it's on the same line as where Avatar is. And obviously Avatar was a big part of this season. It's probably gonna be like the mini battle pass. Like, I don't know. And obviously with the Disney investment into Epic, like the metaverse, all that stuff. So probably how that, you know, came to be. Let's kill this guy. What is going on with my Deagle shots today? They're really not looking hot. Yeah, I need to get rid of this Deagle. I need to just get rid of a lot of things, actually. Got FNCS on today. I'm playing like this. Like, what's going on? All right, hold up. We got more leaks. I just got to, like, chill for a second here. I need to get a sniper. This deagle is not it. This guy hasn't moved, by the way. He's still in this box. <laughs> Bro. 
Oh, what is Fro doing? Oh, I feel bad. I actually feel so bad. I'm getting rid of this. I, I can't do any more with the Deagle. I actually just can't. It's actually like annoying me so much. So yeah, that is the next season of Fortnite. And then the one after that is going to have Fortnite Mares. That's all that's locked in at the moment. But that kind of like key art in this roadmap is actually from a comic book and that's dr doom in the middle and it's being alleged that this season is going to be another marvel season so if you remember chapter two season four arguably one of the best seasons of fortnite not because that's when my icon skin came out but because that's actually just like a goaded season you got stark fitty fitties like it was insane season all right it was one of the best and it looks like they're doing it again and it's going to revolve around yeah dr doom again i always you know kind of i, I thought about because you know obviously that season dr doom was one of the big characters in it and obviously galactus but the movies for galactus or you know dr doom or any of apart from you know she hulk none of them actually made it into like movies or films obviously outside of, of course iron man so yeah i always found that interesting i know that that was meant to be the whole next phase of the movies but yeah another marvel season on the cards and honestly like kind of sick that's gonna be awesome can't wait for it and i can't wait especially for what's after it you can see it in the roadmap fortnite did say og fortnite was coming back i'm wearing one of the skins right now because of it fortnite og is coming back again but not chapter one chapter two in the roadmap here it shows the key up for chapter two season Season one, season two, and season three. So everything before Marvel season, it looks like they're gonna mash up into one kind of big season again. And they're gonna, looks like, have the rest of the year to work on it. This is gonna be so sick. Coming out in November again this year, which was pretty similar to where it came out uh, last year, I think around the same dates. Just before, again, it launches into another brand new chapter of chapter six. And it has some like work in progress key off of what chapter six is. At the end of it though, it says there's gonna be a live event at the end of fortnite og so that's when our live event we're getting this year and then it said also on these other 4chan leaks in the text boxes it said that this is when epic is going to do their big metaverse push this is when we can expect that disney collab which is also like semi leaked into being some kind of place where people can watch disney plus in fortnite i, I think is what i read online so it must be true yeah also please do remember like this isn't like confirmed confirmed however there are a few things that do lead to it obviously the star wars part being a part of it the star wars lego collab is pretty much like all but confirmed in there there's like this leaked key art of like all these characters being lego characters from star wars for fortnite lego so it's pretty confident that a lot of this is real, but we'll have to see, like obviously as you know, time goes on and we see our, you know, collabs coming out in game like Caribbean and everything else going on, it'll all be happening. Yeah, we need to work on that. Wow, look at this. The, the peely head just goes through the McLaren. That's so pay to lose. Speaking about brand new releases, if you guys didn't know, just yesterday we put live Duo Endless Zone Wars. So essentially it's our Endless Zone Wars map in a duo version. Has a couple cool features as well. Has a quick revive. It only takes three seconds to revive someone so you can get right back into the action. It has this really cool dynamic kill streak so that when you counter up with a duo and they die, they, don't, they can't sell your bread. Uh, essentially the kill streak is dynamically growing between the two of you but it's really hard to get a nuke you need like 18 check it out if you guys want to practice for any cups coming up specifically the fncs cup coming out next weekend that is a duos cup i believe and it's going to be for the new fncs skin which looks like this on screen i'm going to try and play it with luda even though we have dreamhack weekend which is going to be crazy over here in melbourne we got a lot of power videos we're going to be filming should be sick and of course if you guys do end up playing the duo map or the solo map you guys can find it in game just by typing in power on the search bar really appreciate everybody getting behind the creative maps it's been an awesome week and you know fncs practice everything like that it's been crazy like i said we've got finals for day three coming up in just a second and there's a ninja skin damn the amount of boss is crazy i haven't warmed up by the way i'm, I'm still like kind of cold so yeah other kind of random tidbits from this roadmap that are worth talking about i didn't really talk much about the lego stuff it looks like in july we're gonna get clombo potentially coming back to fortnite it looks like it's going in to the lego game mode and i'm just saying when are we getting our lego fortnite sets to make and build irl like not the ones in the item shop i want to know the ones that i can build in real life i want my lego clombo i want my lego battle bus they have a lego clombo key art already made which looks like it's exactly like the loading screen that came out ages ago just legoified that looks sick but yeah there's gonna be other stuff in like the lego star wars stuff that's like leaked there's gonna be lego lightsabers and all that stuff also potentially the star wars collab i wonder if it's going to finally have 
lightsabers as item shop things that we can buy. Fortnite, please do it. I actually beg. I actually beg we finally get them. No one actually likes the lightsabers. We only like them if they're a pickaxe. But yeah, what do you guys think about chapter two coming back? Chapter two, season one to season three, the good chapter two seasons outside of Marvel season. After Marvel though, it kind of dropped off. Oh, also that's the other note I forgot to mention. The apocalypse season that we're getting next season is apparently going to reintroduce the sand tunneling mechanic that we had in chapter two, season five. So that is going to be something very interesting. He might have a sniper. Yep, there it is. But yeah, I don't know. Did you guys like the sand tunneling thing? Uh, I didn't know how I felt about it. All right, and might get sniped out of the air. Man. Struggle Street right here. What do you got? Very fully yeeted. All right, sand tunneling coming back in the apocalypse season. That's going to be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know how I really feel about the sand tunnels. But I know that that season generally wasn't the most loved season. But yeah, chapter two coming back. I'm going to have to hit up my boy Fresh. I just remember like chapter two, season two, grinding this gold peely. I mean, you guys can tell if you guys didn't know already, I didn't unlock the full golden peely. Like the bottom of it is not gold. It sucks. I remember my brother got the gold, like the mythic goldfish one day when we were both streaming. Just insane memories in chapter two. And uh, I can't wait to relive them in chapter two, OG. It's just interesting how this is all leaked. And again, expect things to change. I wouldn't be surprised if the leak of this does kind of inspire some change even if it's just the order or just other things going on and i think there's still a lot in that second half of the year that's still undecided you know fortnite work in advance but they are still a big massive company and you know it takes time to flesh these things out like I, apparently the next season is only just hit the testing stages because people can see it online when they're testing for the latest you know version of fortnite and i think they're testing for it now and that only happened like i think a week ago development is is hard i mean my fortnite skin i knew i was going to get it just off the world cup and then i got it two years later so like that just goes to show you like the kind of you know bandwidth that's just a skin that's a way smaller fry than actual you know mythics and stuff like that like coding the mythics and everything like that it's gonna be crazy but exciting times for fortnite hope you guys are excited as well i'm just excited for how this season's gonna wrap up another random minor news there's some new survey skins that are out i'll show a couple of them on screen nothing too crazy i don't think in regards to these new ones a couple of them look cool it's just kind of survey skins sometimes they make them sometimes they make them worse than how they were gonna look game's the game my only thing though fortnite if chapter two is coming back we need to make sure that the mythics are are just as broken as they were back then i'm talking sky's assault rifle i'm talking midas drum gun doing 25 50 like i don't want any of these like extra recoils or anything like that i want them just as broken as they were like that sky mythic was so goaded i remember dropping sky and like just being so pumped to get that assault rifle in the grappler it was like actually the best i need a sniper why have i not got a sniper this is actually annoying me wait i have an idea no i don't i don't have an idea i lied i have an idea Whoa, chill, dog. Yeah, we're gonna need to warm up today. Hey, what's over here? Yeah, low key. This air wheel is like so goaded for getting around the map. It's actually insane. I feel like I'm going faster than the cars. It feels illegal to play this whole game without any sniper rifle. Oh, also that's the other thing. The heavy snipers, they need to be goaded as well. Can't have any of these like not goaded sniper rifles. Break the whole metal build into the box type deal. All right, here we go. What are we doing, buddy? I was trying to get these trickies out. No, you don't. What is that? Yeah, no. Not, not happening, G. Give me that. And give me that. All right. I don't need to escape. People need to escape me. Golden Peely activated. Well, brokey Golden Peely, really. This is a poor man's Golden Peely. I still pissed me off. I'll never be able to get those legs gold. I know my brother got it. I know it was actually very hard to get. Gold Peely was the last skin in Fortnite that was actually hard to get. Like, these new ones are so easy. You can pay to win. You can get them so easy. Damn, it is really hard to hit someone air wheeling. And I've just done it because I'm goaded like that. Wow, stole my kill. Now you need to die. How did you even get him? Oh, you're down there?
We gotta remember we got the Zeus jump. I don't play with this much. My golden pilly head's gonna give me off. Alright. Might as well just go to zone. Slow barrels here. There he is. All right, he's trying to get headshot sniped. Spoiler alert, it's you. Man, I couldn't imagine if like, oh, whoops. That was just a bad shot generally. Time to rotate, my guy. About to send you back to chapter two. Where are you? He's got Cerberus Medallion, so he's not useless on the rotates. That should've been a headshot. He's gonna move in soon. Oh, you can't shoot the sniper off of that? What's the point? Oh, this guy's being so boring. Yep, there it is. Oh my God, time to rotate. There we go. GG. Catch you back in chapter two, my guy. All right. Time to me to actually like warm up. Reference, yes. Big leaks on the way. We'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe.